stirring up support for their ideas. And Arcadians, those easily misled sheep, they embrace these ideas because they prophesize change. And change is always attractive to humans. Not only humans, the Vanguard are using a tyrant to force their changes into effect. They say the tyrant have turned to religion, that they have... Ah, the tyrant! Those beasts are not much for loyalty, but promise them money and power. The Vanguard are probably ready to offer them half of the Northlands, perhaps even Mercuria itself for their services. And they have certainly wanted to put their filthy claws on that city for as long as I can remember. Yes, it's beginning to look quite bleak. What about the girl? I think she may have seen the light, finally. She does not know even half of what is going on, and if she did, I do not think she would be able to handle it. Better she does not know. Aren't you worried that the fate of the balance in our worlds is in the hands of a... a child? A simple country girl? Of course. I do my best to help her, as does the mother in her way. Still, April will be on her own soon enough, and then... Who knows? After all, she is the one. No one seems to doubt that. The balance knows, and the balance provides. And if the balance believes in this girl, we should as well. Spoken as a man of true faith. But of course, Father, you're not the only one who places his faith in higher powers. Speaking of higher powers, I have to go prepare my sermon for tonight. And what lessons will be taught today? You know the usual. Sacrifice, devotion, faith. The cornerstones of any religion. Even the vanguard seem to follow these tenets. They require devotion through faith just as much as we do. Good night, Raul. Que Dios te bendiga. It's Cortez. It's beautiful in here, don't you think? So quiet, so spiritual. See, I'm no Catholic, but I still like coming here to meditate. To pray, if you want. If you're not a Catholic, who do you pray to? To the universe. To the balance. To the rock in this floor and, and the air around us. To you and, and to myself. What is that, Buddhism? It's life, senorita, pure and simple. So, what did you dig up today? Oh, nothing, except for everything you ever wanted to know about the Vanguard and Jacob McAllen. You got the information? You found Warren? He helped you? Eventually. It wasn't easy. But I know where to find McAllen, and I'm working on how to get there. I should be all set by tomorrow. Good news. And just in time, too. Things are not going well out there. What do you mean? The balance is collapsing. And magic is seeping through into this world. Stark is still protected by its strong currents of logic and order, but Arcadia is on the brink of war and utter chaos. Unless we act quickly, Arcadia will fall into disorder, and Stark will follow. Can't we get help? 
Everyone with the power and will to help is doing so. But you are so much more important than anyone else. You can travel to Arcadia to bring order to chaos. At least until we find the Guardian and return him to his realm. What about the Vanguard? We investigate your lead tomorrow, yes? If we find what we are looking for, if they have the Guardian or know where he is, then we are one step closer to victory. But we still need to find the entrance to his realm. And the situation in Arcadia is not getting any better, not without your help. I don't know anything. What can I do? By just being there, you are helping. You are strong in the balance, April. And your power flows into those you meet and helps them against the tides of chaos. Whatever you do, however you do it, you are helping. I still feel so... so helpless. I don't understand half of what you tell me, and as for the other half, I can't help being skeptical. Good. Do not trust everyone or everything, and make a stand against that which you do not believe. Just be sure to accept the truth when you find it, and embrace the good in the world. I'll do my best. What are we going to do now? Tomorrow, we will visit with McAllen, find what he knows and use it. Then the day after, you will go back to Arcadia. At most, we have a week. But it should be enough. As for today, relax. Be with your friends. I don't think I'll ever be able to relax again. We pay a heavy price for our knowledge, yes. But try to enjoy yourself, because the hard work begins in the morning. I will see you then, yes? Wait, wait! Where are you going to be this time? We will meet here, yes? I'm afraid I cannot go back to Venice. Not now. There are... people looking for me. The Vanguard? Yes. They know what I am, who I am. They will not rest until they have me. So we must work very fast to destroy them. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Be careful. Thank you, senorita. And you. Hey, what are you doing? Charlie, Emma, what are you guys doing here? We locked ourselves in to wait for you. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. By the way, I think Zack was spying on you guys. I caught him leaning up against the door, and he hurried back into his room the second I arrived. He's such a loser. And he seems to have a personal vendetta against you now after what you did to him. 
or what he claims you did last night. Gotta love the guy. So what's up? What's the occasion? We want to know what's going on with you, April. What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Don't lie to your best friends. That's way below you. We know something's going on. There's no point denying it. For three days straight, you've been away all day. You've been acting weird and hanging around Cortez, of all people. And then today we find out you've been up to Metro Circle by yourself? I mean, April, for God's sake, what is going on? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Try us. We're your friends. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can help. Somehow. I've been... Uh... Chosen to save the world. <laughs> Stop kidding around, April. We're serious. So am I. I told you, you wouldn't believe me. You're actually telling us the truth. What do you mean, you've been chosen to save the world? As in, there's something really bad going down. I can't say exactly what, but Cortez is with the good guys, and I've been... drafted. Look, April, if you're having some kind of nervous breakdown, we'll do anything to... God, I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. Forget it! I don't even believe in myself, so why should you? I believe you, April. I've seen things these past few days, strange, inexplicable things. And my grandma taught us that there's more to this world than meets the eye. And after all, it's you saying these things. My friend, April. I've never known you to lie or even exaggerate the truth. If you believe it, I believe it. And I'm sure the same goes for Emma. Thank you, Charlie. It means a lot to me. I wish I could tell you everything, but I don't think I can. I understand. When you're ready, but if there's anything, anything at all we can do to help, well, don't hesitate to ask. There are a few things you can help me with. Great. What? Like I said, I can't really tell you very much about what's going on. Not yet, anyway. Tomorrow, after I've had a good night's sleep, I'll try explaining as much as possible. But there's one thing you can do for me. I have reason to suspect that somebody's out to get me, or Cortez. Who? Long story, but I could need some backup. These goons, these agents, they could be closing in, and whatever advanced warning you're able to give me... We'll do our best. What do they look like? I'm not sure, but you'll know when you see them. I'm sure. Anybody suspicious around, let me know. This is kind of exciting, but you gotta tell me, what are they after you for? Did you do something illegal? Not yet. Not really. It's what I might do that they're worried about. But please don't ask me any more questions today. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled for anything weird. I need a good night's sleep, and tomorrow I should be able to tell you more. But thanks for helping me out, guys. I really appreciate it. We're all hanging out at the cafe tomorrow night, April, so you're just gonna have to join us. I promise. Now get some sleep. Sorry to tell you this, but you look totally exhausted. I'm glad we had this talk. Thanks for checking up on me, guys. Sure. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, girl. Sweet dreams.
that light coming from? 